Hey y'all, Grand Rising. We're gonna see what does the collective need to receive to Zane. We're gonna start off with some karmic updates. So let's see what does the collective need to know. All right. We have here the Six of Swords. All right, somebody is trying to move forward from a situation right now. Tell me more. We have the Seven of Swords uh, from stealing. Somebody was stealing. Somebody could have been moving funny, sneaking around or something, and now they're trying to escape from that situation. Tell me more. Let me see. We have here intentionally burning people somebody who got an std and then we have here dying in their sleep listen i'm gonna clarify this dying in their sleep because that came out the other day and i and i wanted to dig deep into that so it could be this person who has an std and they're like intentionally burning people but we're gonna see what we get oh shit see how the light <laughs> what's going on with these lights lately oh my god that could have been confirmation somebody's lights yeah lights out wow all right well let's see Holy Spirit, clarify dying in their sleep. Yeah, they was doing some type of voodoo. Wow. And look, they're going to be burnt out right here. Forced into submission, y'all. You see that? Forced into submission, burnt out, restless. This is definitely like someone passing away uh, in the upright. But with this deck in the reverse, it's like they're they're gonna be sick <clears throat> look at that my throat chakra i started acting up but they're gonna be even like so sick that they're gonna die that's so fucking crazy all right so they was trying to send some type of attack with this ace of wands to somebody's family and to even somebody's child so let me confirm that but that's what i'm getting like that shit went back to them all right this could be uh a gemini that is involved in this so this could be that they was trying to steal somebody's contract all right yeah they was taking action and they wasn't really thinking about the consequences holy spirit what is this uh, Ace of Wands? Because that's what I'm getting. Like, they was doing voodoo and it didn't work. It says here rejection. That shit got rejected. Yeah, somebody, it could, wow. So it could be somebody's uh, sibling. All right, they went to a practitioner. Okay, the uh, Six of Cups is somebody that you <clears throat> you grew up with or somebody that you could be related to, a cousin, uh, a, a friend that you grew up with that's like family um, or, you know, a sibling, okay? Step-sibling, whatever sibling, but it was sibling. And with the hermit in the reverse, they went to a dark practitioner to do, wow, to do this spell to attack this page of cups. This is, I feel like it's a child. I'm going to clarify that now. But this is because they needed money, all right? They were struggling. They was overwhelmed. And they thought that they was going to be able to take some, and it could be this child's contract. Holy Spirit, clarify this page of cups. They be doing that. I know. Trust me. <laughs> You know, they cannot steal from me, from my energy. They cannot steal my contract. They cannot they cannot do an energy swap or a destiny swap. And they, they really be trying to do that shit with my son. But they don't know that my son is stronger than me. <laughs> God sent my son to help me out. My son is a warrior spirit just like me. So it's like, y'all going to try that shit? You're just wasting your time. And that's what I'm getting here. Somebody's going to end up dying in their damn sleep because they was attacking your... Yeah, look. Right here. Your family. Right here. Your child. Okay? So let's see the two of pentacles yeah wow trying to win at all costs what they're trying to win this recognition this rewards why because again it keeps coming out that they juggling their finances another card talking about the same thing juggling their finances right now they're they're overwhelmed with everything that's going on and they feel like if they steal this contract or this energy from this child it's like the the vitality you know the Pure life force energy is going to help them to be able to manifest. Because this is somebody who's in low vibration. They cannot manifest. Like I say all the time. They can't even manifest a motherfucking cheeseburger. Okay? And they need to steal energy from people. So they want to steal this child's pure energy. And that's not happening here. Alright? They're trying to win at all costs. Alright? It's not happening. So <laughs> this is going to end up, like we saw here, is getting rejected. And someone's going to end up dying. Alright? This person right here. A king of swords in the reverse. Someone who is very corrupt. Someone who is manipulative and definitely cruel because it's like, bro, like you're really trying to steal from a child, okay? Like it don't matter if it's if it's physical or spiritual, that's still fucked up, all right? And they're collaborating with people, all right? They could be part of a coven, but this is definitely the King of Swords reverse. It could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be, uh, but it's all also a, a narcissist, okay? This is a narcissist, all right? So spirit, I'm gonna be pulling some characters throughout the reading. So we're gonna pull now five characters and then we're gonna move on. Let me get five people that's involved in this Holy Spirit. Remember, it's a collective reading. There's a lot of people watching these readings. So that's why I'm putting so many characters. You take what resonates with you. 
and you leave what doesn't because it's for somebody else, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, let's get some characters. All right, this person could have dreads or locks in their hair. Tell me more. We have here an Aquarius man. So yeah, look, this is this this right here. I said Gemini Nebo Aquarius. All right, he could be an Aquarius. Tell me more. Definitely a man because I'm getting King of Swords here. But, you know, flip the roles. It could be something else for you. All right, we have a sex worker that's involved in this. We have here works in the medical field. Someone who works in the medical field is involved in this. We have somebody's paternal aunt. So your father's sister is involved in this. And we have a football player that is involved in this. Okay. All right. So we're going to leave that alone. Let's move on and get some other cards. All right, Holy Spirit. What else? So these people are going to be dying in their sleep because they were trying to steal energy. All right. We have here someone using somebody for money or shelter. It could be the sex worker. Yeah. Decreased income. So somebody's mad that their money, they're about to lose money or something and they, they need somebody. All right. December. This could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. All right. Spirit is saying this is the truth. Okay. So they know that their money, their, their money, their income is decreasing. Or maybe you was paying for things for this person with using you for money or shelter. You could have been, you know, providing for this karmic and now they're stressed. Yeah, look, alone. They don't want to be alone because they need you to provide for them. Wow, we have a miscarriage. They could be lying, all right? Somebody's karmic could be lying, saying, yeah, look, release. You cannot make this up because this karmic th does not want to be released. So she could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, all right? Uh, they could be saying that they had that they, they was pregnant or something and they had a miscarriage uh, that came out the other day and it was actually an abortion, not a miscarriage. And it was an abortion because the karmic was cheating with their roommate, with their cousin, with their homie, whoever it is. And they got pregnant with them and they knew that the divine masculine was going to get a DNA test. And they were like, listen, I'm just going to get an abortion. For some of y'all, this karmic with the abortion, she sacrificed that baby. Trigger warning. Um, but she acted like it was a miscarriage and it's not. Somebody involved in this is vegan, like me. Hey, shout out to us. All right. If you're considering being vegan or vegetarian, do it because that boosted my ascension. You know, like that shit opened me up. Like that's what got me to where I am now today. Okay. So we have here, these are agents of the devil and they're giving up. All right. Yeah. They cannot, they cannot take us out. We protected out here. All right. They're losing sleep because they cannot do what they're trying to do. This is a black widow woman. This is a woman who kills her lovers. Okay. So this person, if I'm talking to you, you need to make sure you stay away from this karmic because if she's, she feels like she, she, she cannot have you. She's going to start to try to set you up. All right. We've been picking up on that energy for the longest, trying to set you up, trying to drug you, trying to get a life insurance policy out on you, all of the above. Yeah, look, and the truth is being revealed, all right? You got to be careful with that. So now we also have here an aunt or an uncle. So again, we got here a paternal aunt. Somebody's aunt is involved in this, okay? Let's clarify why, because it, it keeps coming out. So let's see what's the message behind this aunt. All right, paternal aunt, y'all. Maybe for some of y'all as a maternal, take it how it resonates, but I have paternal here. Clarify this aunt energy, Holy Spirit. Okay, this aunt could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And there's something about her right now. Yeah, she could be an Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or she could be a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And she's coming on the reverse. And then with the Emperor on the reverse, definitely this could be this aunt, uncle. But I'm getting with this Emperor on the reverse, she's very dominating. She's trying to have domination and control over somebody, okay? Um, because I see here... You could be freeing yourself from some type of trap that she had, okay? It says here, school, escaping ruin, pulling yourself together, learning from the past. This this aunt is trying to keep somebody in a low vibration. She's trying to keep them stuck so she could continue to be dom dominating over their finances or their beauty, okay? Because they be doing that shit too, siphoning energies and shit. Oh, these people be doing too much, all right? So... This aunt, somebody needs to know, she's trying to keep you trapped, okay? Give me one more for the aunt, Holy Spirit. You're freeing yourself. You're standing in your power. You know, you're doing what you got to do. You're healing. You're going vegan. You're going to the gym. You're raising your vibration. This this aunt right here is trying to stop this shit, all right? So this is an aunt that was siphoning from somebody's energy in the past, and now she can't do it, and she's uh trying to hold on to for dear life. Give me one more on this aunt, Holy Spirit.
it's confirmation. <laughs> All right, yeah, confirmation. This aunt is about to experience a tower moment, all right? Some type of unexpected crisis, upheavals, death and destruction right here because she was trying to keep you in a low vibration, all right? Yeah, again, empress, all right? So it's definitely like an aunt. Um, This could be a Libra, a Gemini. I mean, well, Gemini over here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, double confirmation with the empress. That's Libra again, all right? Or an Aries, Leo side. So somebody needs to know this, okay? All right, let's keep going. Anything else? Holy Spirit. I'm going to keep it short today, y'all, because I got some errands to run today. All right, we have here actual court judgment. And then we have here the, the families working together, okay? So your family's working together right now. They're trying to stop you with something that has to do with court. Maybe they're trying to block your mail from coming in. It says here, an assigned handler. This is somebody in a secret society, in a cult or a coven, that they try to assign to you to have domination and control over you. Usually, it's someone that, that has access to you that they could send to your house and they could leave, you know, cursed items like uh, amulets or coins and shit like that in your home and open up portals. I know that all of this shit sounds crazy. I'll be hearing myself. I'll be like, yo, I feel like I'm, I'm in some type of, um, what's that show my son be watching? Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen <laughs> or something like that. You know, like they want to open up a portal in your crib, you know? So this is somebody that they try to assign to be your handler, okay? So it's somebody who's usually close to you, all right? Somebody who, who has access. They try to assign, assign this person to be that, all right? So we have here, somebody has black hair is involved. This could be you or them. We have here, uh, oh, somebody's going to end up at the, at the mental hospital. We've been picking up on that energy. We have here, somebody has a white Nissan. And it says here, they fell in the grave that they dug for you. Absolutely. All right. These people that we pick it up on here, they they thought that you was going to end up in a mental hospital. They thought you was going to end up, you know, going to jail or whatever they were trying to do here. And that's not working. Holy Spirit, let me get five more characters. We have here, someone who drinks alcohol is involved. They could be drinking a lot right now because they, they know what's their fate. All right. They see that you freed yourself. They see that the voodoo is not working any longer. So they know that now something's going to happen to them. So they could be right now drinking to cope. Tell me more. Yes. Okay. We have a Pisces feminine here. We have here someone who works at a bank, a bank teller. We have a Pisces man. And then we have here a prisoner that's currently locked up is involved in this situation. All right. Let me pull from here. All right, Holy Spirit. What does the wow, collective need to know? So look, pregnancy money scam. So again, miscarriage. This karmic could have been telling somebody, yeah, I had a miscarriage. She was never pregnant. All right. For some of y'all, that's what it was. She wanted money for an abortion or some shit. I don't know, but it was a scam. All right. And she was never pregnant. We have here, this karmic was attacking your business. Okay. So they wanted your business to not be successful. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Their leader, okay? So their leader is involved. This is the, again, this coven energy that keeps coming out. This person could be a karmic Scorpio. I'm gonna put it back because I didn't really get to uh, shuffle that one. But I saw karmic Scorpio. I see the letter N as well. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me more. Yeah, I just saw a mojo bag. Wow, I was just talking about some type of amulet or something that they're gonna try to leave in your house. So you gotta be careful uh, if anybody tries to come over to your house because they're going to try to leave something, remember, you are protected, all right? God is just testing them, you know, to see how how deep they're going to they're gonna dig this grave for you, right? So that they could fall in it. So let them let them do what they got to do. I would not allow anybody into my home, but if you have to let them into the house, whoever this person is, and they do something or they leave it on your in front of your house or something, whatever, just know that you are protected. And this is just them digging themselves deeper into karma, Okay. We have here out on bond, okay? So somebody is uh, gonna get out on bond or they trying to get out on bond, something more. Somebody who's 35 to 49 years old. It says here, someone passed away in the last 72 hours or they will. And we have here that somebody's gonna get stopped at the airport, okay? So if anybody tries to come visit, trying to get in the airport, trying to go on the run or whatever the fuck, they're gonna get caught up, all right? All right, we have here hire for murder. They try to hire a hitman to murder you, and this is going to end up getting back to the feds or whatever. They're going to get caught up for this, all right? They're going to get stopped at the airport, all right? So that's what I got here. I hope I was able to bring clarity and confirmation, y'all. Peace.